Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. This show is dedicated to helping business owners and entrepreneurs become elite operators, not only in their business, but in their lives as well. And um, if you're coming through, please do drop a like, a comment, a share. Let me know if the content that we put out resonates and helps you or if there's any things that you're struggling with as an entrepreneur, business owner, to become an effective business owner, then just ask. So one of the things I wanted to talk about, which I struggled in my early days as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, was <clears throat> structure and effective working practices. Morning, Ben. And being effective in your working practices allows you to be a lot more productive, gives you a lot more balance in terms of your work-life balance or integration, should we say. And I think it's really important to have some form of strategy in place for you to be able to follow as a business owner so that you so that the business is not completely owning you and dominating your life so that we can base our business around our lives not our lives around our business right so these three strategies are very simple and if followed consistently they're going to give you <clears throat> much more productivity much more effectiveness in your work less overwhelm less stress and less burnout because that's certainly the effects that it had on me So the first thing that I want us to look at uh, is the time that we work at. Now, back in the early days, what I would end up doing is just constantly working right throughout the day. There would be no structure to my day. And that structure and that lack of structure caused me just to completely burn out and to be completely overwhelmed and frustrated and completely not eat, neglect myself by not eating or drinking throughout the day. You just suddenly go into this tunnel vision of work where you put your head down and you're cracking on, right? And as you go on, you become more and more fatigued, but you fight it and the quality of your work and performance starts dipping. So we looked at different working time uh, times that you could work for. And one of the most productive ways that I found was that working for 90 minute slots was not only very productive, but it allowed me to be able to focus on one task at a time for a 90 minute period. So a normal day would look like from nine to 10.30, from 11 to 12.30, from 1.30 to three, from 3.30 to five. That's four 90 minute periods of deep work. So to make sure that that strategy works, what you're going to have to make sure that you do is block out any distractions. So i.e. turning your phone off, putting do not disturb on your door, being in an environment where you can't be distracted so that you can solely focus on that one task, which is the other point, knowing exactly what the task is. If you go into your day and you've got four 90 minute periods and you don't know how you're using those 90 minute periods, you're gonna be wasting time trying to figure out and cutting into that 90 minute time, trying to figure out what you need to do. So when you're looking at this, be number one, no distractions, no, nothing that's gonna put you away or pull you away from that 90 minute uh, slot and also know exactly what the task is gonna be. I would even think about saying, as we go into strategy two, to be clear on your priorities of task. Now, for me, the most effective working time for me is between nine and half 12. When I'm most awake, most alert, I'm doing my morning routine from here right now, and from this morning routine, that will set me up and lead me up until four, into uh, nine o'clock when I start work. So, I'm most productive then. When I get to 12.30, I start hitting a weary. I get up at four. So that's when after 12, I do my secondary priority. So my two biggest tasks that I need to focus on in my business, I will do between nine, okay, and 12.30, in those first two deep sessions. So you have to 
Strategy number two is prioritizing the most important work early on when you're fresh, when you're clear headed, when you are coming straight off the back of a beautiful morning or just doing your morning routine where you focused on yourself with exercise or yoga or meditation, you're at your best. Then obviously later on in the afternoon, we could do secondary work, meetings, logistics, planning, those type of tasks, okay, that don't demand so much of you. Helps you become a lot more effective and productive. The third strategy is to make sure that you are taking breaks. I would never take a break, so my head would just become a, a, a grenade. It'd be imploding on myself just with all of the work that I'm doing. So between 10.30, and 11, I take a half an hour break after my first deep work session. After deep work two, I then take an hour for lunch. After deep work three, I take another half an hour. And then after deep work four, I go into a transitional routine, which is my cool down from work, if you like. It's how I slowly switch off for half an hour, going for a walk, having that transition routine, listening to podcasts, brain dumping what needs to be done the next day and focusing uh, <clears throat> on transitioning into a personal space. So I get the balance weighed off. Now working like that, I'm more likely to get, I'm not more likely to get, uh, be more productive and get work done rather than just leaving the cup half full of with different jobs, working willy nilly to no structure, willy nilly. <laughs> working to no structure, okay, and being completely a complete and utter clusterfuck um, during my working day. So just to summarize and review, we're looking at three strategies. Number one is working to 90 minute deep work sessions or hour work sessions, whatever, whatever works for you, okay? We're looking at understanding what we have to do in that role and making sure that we are not distracted in that role as well so that we can be as productive as possible and we can go all in on those 90 minutes. Strategy two is making sure that you're prioritizing your work. So those tasks, the most important tasks are done in morning. Logistics planning and other work, secondary priorities are done in the afternoon when we're starting to feel fatigued mentally slightly and it doesn't demand so much of our attention. And number three is ensuring that we are taking breaks, that we are coming away from the desks, that we are coming away from the project or, or tasks that you're working on so that you can come back a lot more effective. And I find that those three strategies, those three plans, if you like, implementing consistently is going to up the level of productivity that you're getting out of your business, but also allowing you to make sure that you get the balance between work and life in place. So you're not working to eight o'clock at night, ignoring family time or personal space and it affecting your mental and emotional health. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of that. I hope that helps as we go along. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to delivering more tips and help for business owners and entrepreneurs. It's definitely something I'm uh, massively passionate about, having really suffered myself with not having any structure at all in my own business. Um, <clears throat> to help you create that elite operator mindset in your business and your life. Okay, guys, have an amazing day. Look at that sun rise there. I'm just going to share that with you. Look at that, boom. It doesn't get much better. Have a great day.